good to have you here tonight and ask everyone that will to come up and let's sing out of the black book. Come on up. Come on, Swanee.
Amen. Good to be here. Appreciate you that have come out to be with us. Appreciate you being here. I know this is spring break. A lot of people are gone, but we're here, and I'm thankful to the Lord that we are. And appreciate everyone that, that took the time to be here tonight. If you got your Bibles, turn with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I um, want to show you some stuff in the Scripture that that God, if you're saved, God is saying that we're a part of that and that we need to yield ourselves unto him to where God can use us and, and bless us. And, and he, he uses the body as he talks about this as you being part of the body of Christ. Now, uh, you would be sort of handicapped if, uh, if your arms worked and your legs worked and all of a sudden uh, you said, well, I'm just not going to use my right arm anymore. Just going to let it hang there. Never use it no more. You'd sort of be handicapped. And a church, a body of Christ, that if we, if we decide, well, I don't want to do anything for God, I don't want to do anything for the church and help in any way, then it handicaps the church. So God has got a job for every one of us. And, and I want us to think about this as I read down through there and talk to you about it a little bit tonight. And, you know, a lot of times we, we uh, you know, say, well, I want to be this and I want to be that. God chooses what we need to be for him you know uh the when he made this body he didn't take the foot and put up here as an arm he made it made it right so so if we will yield ourselves to the spirit of god every single one of us every person sitting here uh tonight has a gift every single one of us are gifted in some way and what we need to do is, is just wait till God leads us. And as he leads us, then we, we use that gift for the glory of God. And not, not to build ourselves up, but to build up him. So as I read down through here, think about that. And think about, well, am I using the things that uh, God wants me to? And then when we get on over there, it talks about uh, other gifts. <clears throat> and and one thing that really stuck out in my heart and my mind, and it's it's sort of just a little word, and we read down through there and we see all these the uh, the prophet uh, prophesying and and preaching and teaching and and all these gifts that that you know sort of stand up, but there's one little word in there that it says helps. Now that's a little word. And sometimes people don't want to, uh, you know, think, well, I'm just nothing but helps. And, and the definition of that is to make things easier or better uh, for the people that are laboring for God. So, uh, you know, it, it don't mean that we come in and tell them how to use their gifts. It means that we come alongside them and help them and, and encourage them and lift them up to the Lord. So as we go down through here, you think about this tonight and, and think about, you know, what, what am I doing for the Lord? And, and, and just the main thing in, in our Christian life is following the Spirit of God and, and learning how to follow the Spirit of God. And when we follow the Spirit of God, then the gift that God has given us uh, will bless our lives and also bless others around us. So the same way, you know, with, with this body as he, as he talks about it. And let me read you all of this. Chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 is where I'd like to start reading. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you to be ignorant. So he wants us to know the will of God. He wants us to know what God wants out of us. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. He said that they had followed after the idols and, 
and really had not followed the Spirit of God. Wherefore, I, I give you to understand that no man speaketh by the Spirit of God, calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Now, I know that there's people that teach that after you're saved, you have to go back and do things to get the Holy Ghost. I disagree with that. I believe that, that the Bible teaches that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of God, stirs our heart and leads us to Jesus Christ and borns us into the family of God and comes and lives inside of us. And that's what the, the Scripture teaches. But, now, people might hear me say that and get angry with me. I've heard people say the other way, and I'm not angry with them. I just believe what the Spirit has taught me. Uh, uh, so what we got to do is just stay humble and, and do what God wants us to do, and then we'll be able to be blessed in Him. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. Now, what he's saying, there's, all, there's different kinds of gifts, but there is the same spirit. Now, we all have gifts. Every single one of us has gifts. And, and just, I'll give you one little illustration. I don't think Jeff would get mad at me. But I notice Jeff and some of them, when Spud and Miss James comes, they'll go and they'll open the door and they'll help him in. That's a help. That's trying to help somebody. And, and that's what all of these gifts that, that God is talking about is, is for all of us to seek God and to pray and to ask God to give us some kind of gift that we might come alongside somebody else and help them in the work of the Lord. Now, uh, so as we go on, and, and I want you to think about this and, and pray about it, and, and Wednesday night, Lord's willing, he stirred my heart on this, uh, and, and normally I never say what, what I feel like I'm going to preach on because a lot of times the Lord changes my heart, and, and if God does change it, then, then that'll be fine. But I want to speak to you Wednesday night about one of the greatest gifts that, that God has given to us, and, and I know it, one of the greatest is Jesus Christ, but one of the gifts that God has given to you to be able to use for him is what I'm talking about. So you think about that during the week. But as we go on, we're talking about these gifts. There are, are, are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. There are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Now, uh, you have a gift. Everyone that is saved has a gift of some kind. Uh, over the years, I've looked at people and I've thought, man, if I'd have had that gift, it would have made my life a whole lot easier. But there, there are people that, that have all kinds of gifts. So we, we, every one of us here tonight, there is different gifts in all of our lives. All of us has a gift of some way. And what we need to do is to stay humble before God to, and to be able to allow God to use uh, us as we use that gift that he has given to us. Now, as we go on, he says, For one is given the Spirit, um, to, to, for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. Now, and, and, you know, what we got to do, and I believe that, that all of these gifts come, and, and as we use them, God wants us to be humble with these gifts. Now, if, if someone has wisdom, and they just start just strutting themselves around, you, you don't want to listen to that kind of wisdom. Amen? But if they're humble as they try to give you this wisdom and not try to beat you down as they try to help you with this wisdom, then you're more likely to accept that type of wisdom. So 
You see, with all of our gifts, all of our gifts, then God is expecting us to stay humble with these gifts, not, not that someone has wisdom. And we need to listen. I mean, you know of someone, surely, that has wisdom. Uh, I, as I spoke a while back about my pastor when he passed away, uh, there was times he, was, he had wisdom. He was a wise man. And there was a lot of times that, that maybe things in my life I didn't fully understand out of the Scripture, and I could sit down with him and talk to him about things, and, and he had wisdom, and he could guide me along this Christian path with the wisdom that he had. So that's a gift that God has given to some. To another, the word of knowledge uh, having knowledge of what uh, the scriptures say uh, by the same spirit to another faith. Me and Diane was talking this morning about a lady that we knew years ago. And uh, Diane said, do you remember her? And I said, yes, I do. I do remember her. And I remember the song that she used to sing, uh, Coming Out of the Wilderness. And she sang it, coming out of the wilderness. Boy, she would sing and sing and sing. And I seen her just get in the spirit of the Lord, walk right out of her shoes. And, and uh, she prayed to God that God would uh, heal her son. And if God did heal her son, that she would completely give her life to God. God healed her son, and she stood by what she had told God. She lifted up the Lord with a humble Spirit. Now, pride goeth before the fall. So we have to stay humble before God, not thinking that we are better and above anybody with our gifts, but that we stay humble before him. So as we go on, he said, faith, I see faith in the woman I was telling you about, uh, uh, and by the same spirit to another the gift of healing. By the same spirit. You see, we've got to have faith. And then there's a gift of healing. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of the spirits. And I do believe, I believe this with all my heart, that if a pastor is called of God, I believe that, that God gives him that, that uh, a gift. And if he don't have that gift, he cannot work. He cannot do the things that, that God has, has called him to do. Uh, to another, diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. Now, a lot of people get off on the unknown tongue. And, and Lord's willing, I'll, I'll talk about that uh, soon to come. But, but let me tell you something. There's a lot of fake in this world. And there's a lot of things that, that people put on. And, and I can be honest with you, if, if their spirit don't bear witness with my spirit, I don't have no part with that. Uh, because if, you, if, if there's a big question mark up there to start with with your spirit, then you need to just back off and leave that in the hands of the Lord and, and leave that alone. But God will not lead you into darkness. God will lead you in the paths of that we need to stay in. And, and now, all these gifts that I have, have uh, talked to you about, I talked to a man today, and he said, uh, I, I was listening to a man on, a preacher on TV, and he said uh, some of it was okay, but the last uh, 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 30 minutes of it was just talking about money, uh, that if you would send so much money that God would double your money. And I said, well, I want to tell you something. Whenever I hear something like that, I got no use for listening to that kind of stuff because that's one thing that that man is after is the money. He's after, he's after that. He's not after them souls out there. And, and you see, this is where it, uh, people are getting away from this part of it is to where God leads us and God calls us. And, and God calls us into these places uh, as, as he gives us these gifts. And, and there's people, and don't get me wrong when I say this, a lot of people get me wrong, 
uh, these people that say, well, uh, uh, I'm going to go to school and become a preacher. The first thing that has to happen with that is God needs to call you. There is a calling from God, and as God gives these gifts, you see. So it's not, we do not choose these gifts. We do not choose which gift that God is going to give to us. We don't look at this right here as a grocery store, and we're going to choose this one, and we're going to choose that. Because people, if I had a chose, I, I would have been a deacon. I mean, that that's where... Uh, when God called me, I was trying to get out of it, and I didn't want that, that job because all I'd ever done is made fun of preachers, and, and I didn't want that job, but God showed me that's where he wanted me. And, and I'm going to tell you something. Churches today and Christians today are getting away from what God says and where God speaks. These, these gifts are put in our churches to make our churches what God wants them to be, just like as he gave the illustration as he, as he made the body, and, and he goes on down through here, and I'll read to you about the parts which you don't, don't see inside. You don't see your, your liver, your lungs, your heart, and all these important parts that's inside of you. You don't see them, and you just expect them to function. You, you just get up every day and say, well... And most of the time, your mind don't even go to them unless there's a problem with them. Amen? And, and that's the same way with a lot of our gifts that God's given us uh, in our churches. We, we forget about them, but this, as I get on over here, I want you to think about that one little word that, that says helps. Now, you think about these, uh, and, and I'm sure every single one of you that work and labor for God, every one of you that try to do the things for God, Satan comes at you. And Satan tells you that nobody cares, that nobody cares what you're trying to do. That's what the devil says. But we, as God's children, and, and you as our brothers and sisters in Christ, we need to come alongside one another and encourage one another and lift one another up and help one another. Uh, that's just like <laughs> Whitmire there. <laughs> he was trying to help me. Now, I think he's making a little fun of me too, but uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, but he, he tried to dress me a little bit, fix my collar, and, and uh, my wife, she tried to too, but uh, you can tell I need a whole lot of help, so... Anyway, I appreciate all the help I can get. Thank you, Whitmire and Diane. Uh, but uh, going on, he says, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, a discerning of the spirits, another, divers kinds of tongue, another, interpretations of tongue. But all these worketh that, that one and self-same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills. So God gives these gifts as he sees fit. For as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, uh, are one body, so also is Christ. So you see, he's talking about the body. He said this whole body is just one body. So with all the children of God, we're all one body. So us as that body... You might, you might be the heart. You might be the lungs. You might be the eyes. You might be the, the head. You might be the legs, the feet, or whatever. But you, if you're saved, you are part of the body of Christ. And we are to do our work. Now, if, if my eyes, uh, if my hand wanted to be my eyes, that, that'd mess things up, wouldn't it? So you see... We need to know what God wants in our life, and God will lead us. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jew or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, and have all made to drink in one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. 
if thy foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? It is. It just says, uh, it's your foot, and it's not your hand. So then we'll go on. If the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, am I not the body? Uh, well, just because my ear is not my eyes, but my ear is very important. Uh, so is my eyes. So are you. You are very important to God. All right? And then he goes on. If the whole body were I, we're with the hearing. You know, what, what good would we be if we were just one big eyeball? You know, our bodies couldn't function. So that's what he's saying. That's what he's saying and giving an example of us as part of the church. You know, so if you, if, if, if it was just one, if your body was just one big eyeball, uh, you'd be no good, right? So us, as part of the, the body of Christ, we all are part of that body, and we all are members of that body. So we have a function. Every single one of us do. But now has God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it has pleased him. And if they... We're all one member, where would the body? But now, as they are many members, yet but one body. You see? Uh, and the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of thee, nor the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. And, and those that you don't see and, and you don't see the workings of those, they're very necessary. You see, a lot of people never see the people that clean the church. A lot of people never see the light bill or the gas bill. Uh, but you see, all these things are necessary. Things, these people are working, and, and they are doing, and a lot of people never see that. But it's all necessary. And we all are. So when Satan tries to tell you that, that you're, not, you're not important to the body of Christ, you are. You are very important. For our comely parts have no need, but God has tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to that part which lacketh, lacked, that there should be no skiz, I can't pronounce that, but I know what it means. It means no division. That there be no division in the body of Christ. That it should, and if there's no division, then it's working in the way that God wants it to work. Uh, and then he goes on. And he says, Whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now, you are the body of Christ. That's what he's telling us. You that are saved are the body of Christ. Now, there is a work to do for the body of Christ. Now, you are the body of Christ, and God has set some in the church. Apostles, in other words, preachers. Uh, secondarily, prophets. Thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles. Then, gifts of healing. And you see this little word that sort of hid, helps. That's the word that really got on my heart. Helps. Helps to make things easier or better. Ease or share the labor. Ease or share the labor. Helps. They didn't say come take over. He said to share the labor. Now, the Holy Spirit... Jesus said, I go away. And, and the Holy Spirit is defined also as one that cometh alongside you to help, which the Holy Spirit's there. But now, he, Jesus is also saying that me and you are part of this body of Christ. Now, now think about this. If, if a church, uh, if, if, if you're the hands of the church, and, and all of a sudden, I lose my hands, I would have had to have Whitmire and Diane to dress me. 
because without my hands, I can't do nothing. So you see, I've got eyes, I can see. Uh, without hands, I couldn't turn the pages of the Bible. So we are the body of Christ. And Jesus said, you are the light of the world. So as we go out into this world and as we work together, working together to lift one another up and help one another along the way, then we see the work of God being done. And then you see, God gives the increase. Whenever I listen to God and I, I take the gift that God has given to me, and I work with that gift that God has given to me, and I do the work, then God gives the increase. So if you want to be blessed in your Christian life, it's not that you just, you just sit down and say, well, this is my job uh, to warm the pew. I, I don't see anywhere in here that he, he says pew warming. Do you? I've not found it, uh, but he does say that you have a gift. And now, if your gift might be, and I, I thought about one of our teachers, our school teachers, and there was a, a girl in, in the school that was confused and discouraged too, I'm sure. But this teacher has got a gift. She's got a gift of love and caring for others. And she went right alongside that girl. She took her in her arms and, and gave her encouraging, loving words. Now, what could you do with your gift if we would just take it and listen to the Spirit of God and humbly walk our life as we go? And if it's to dress somebody's collar up and fix it up, that we do it in the name of Jesus. If it's to encourage somebody along the way, that we do it in the name of Jesus. So that's as far as I'm going to go tonight. But I want you to think about this as we go this week. God's telling us that there is a greater gift down through there. And whenever you use it, and I guess I'm putting the hook out, hopefully catch some. Uh, when you use it, that your, your gift is going to be blessed even more. So I want to encourage you tonight as you live your life for the Lord. Don't, don't just try to work and, and try to find something to do. Just slow up just a little bit. And wait upon God and listen to God and know that it's the Spirit of God. Know that it is God's Spirit. I've seen a lot of people get out of the Spirit of God and try on, and go and do things themselves. I've been there, done that, and it don't work. But when we wait upon God and know that it is God, then the blessings will come. So helps, helps along the way. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for everyone that's here. And God, I understand and I know that there's others that, that are listening and, and maybe at different uh just uh, doing whatever, Lord, you know where, where all of us are. And, God, you're able, Lord, to help us along the way. And, God, I pray as you lead me that I could be help to my brothers and sisters and help them to stay on the straight and narrow path and to walk faithfully before you because, Lord, I know that there's many blessings waiting upon your children. And God, as I look, I count my blessings. God, you have blessed me, and I praise you for it. And I'm thankful that you spoke to my heart and have led me in the, the path that you have led me in. And I pray for strength, and I pray for wisdom, and God, understanding of your word that I might help others along the way. Bless your people. Bless everyone that's took time to come tonight. Those that are listening, Lord, at home, I ask your blessings upon them. Many people are still sick, and I ask your blessings upon them. In Jesus' name, amen. Appreciate you being here. Pray for our service. Free to go.